Well, hello, my many friends. I noticed that nobody was doing a sale tonight, so I just thought maybe I would just do a pop-up and just jump on and see what happens. What's the harm, right? If nothing else, this will just go on and uh, you can send me an email and buy the stuff that you want later, right? If nobody shows up and wants to uh, buy anything right now, but what the heck, I have all these cats, cats. I, I'm i gonna just confess to you people that I am a dog person. So I, it's not that I dislike cats, I just prefer dogs. So, hi Debbie, it's so great that you're here. I have never done anything like a pop-up sale. Maybe you know, I've only really done one sale so far and I like advertised it all out in advance. So just thought, what's the harm in just doing a pop-up and have a couple things here that I thought we'd we'd show and see if anybody's interested. If not, no harm, no foul, right? But uh, I'm not jumping all over anybody else. Uh, sip, uh, sipping and sipping and why am I spacing on their show's name anyway, is on in about 12 minutes. So we're just gonna be on for a few minutes and uh, then we will defer to them. Awesome. I was looking for a sale tonight too, Debbie, and there were none. So I thought, well, what the heck? I have all these cats here. So I'm just gonna show them. And uh, um, you know, if you're interested in cats, then won't that be fun? And if you're not, then maybe it'll still be fun. Well, we'll see. So, whoop. also a coffee pot. That's what makes a bunch of sound. So here's just this little, it's just a little Siamese cat. Isn't that so cute? And he's kind of looking back over his back. Oh, I bet. I'm, I'm glad that you like cats, Debbie, since you are solo with me tonight so far. So uh, anyway, this little cat right here, um, he's, uh, let's see, he is marked. He is uh, Napco Wear. Napco Wear has the sticker on his little, like there, see that? Yep, go where? And he's just little. You can see that. He's small. He's like, you know, fits in your hand. And he's nice and smooth. Um, kind of a nice uh, glaze on him. I, I, I don't I don't know what to say about it, but it's nice and smooth. It's not that um, chalky, yucky stuff. He's nice. And he has no chips or cracks or anything like that. Uh, he has, you know, just little spots and stuff on him just because, like, He's old, right? You see that? Like, it's not perfect. It's not like he stepped straight out of the Bon Marche yesterday. Anyway, that little guy right there, it's five bucks. So if you want him, five bucks. So he's going to be number one. This little guy, number one, five dollars. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm so glad that you guys are jumping on with me tonight. I'm a little bit unprepared because I, I was on looking for a sale and then there were none. So I decided, well, let's have our own. I've got these cats. Let's just see if we can sell a couple cats. I have several of those small little um, uh, kind of figurines. And I need to stop touching that <laughs> coffee pot every time I touch it. It makes a bunch of racket. Um, let's maybe show this one. This one is larger, so you can see, let's see the first one versus the second one. He's just quite a bit larger. He's like the length of my hand a little bit more. And he's lying down, again, a Siamese, very mid-century. Um, I can't quite show all of him in the screen at the same time. This guy is called Centennial Novelty, Los Angeles, and he was made in Japan. There's his little upside down tag there see that um he's kind of lightweight sort of thin nice porcelain and um again no chips or cracks or anything like that everything i have tonight is in good shape um this guy his ears are just a little bit rough i can't tell if maybe this ear was chipped at some point and somebody painted over it kind of looks like maybe that's the case i'll show that real close see that it does sort of look like it I mean, if we look really close, like maybe the tip of the ear chipped off and they colored over it. 
Actually, I hadn't noticed that, but anyway, there he is. So he's just lying down, Siamese. He's super, super cute, just sweet. He'll lay on your little shelf or wherever, and he'll just watch over you, and he won't even need any milk. There he is. And this little guy is going to be number 10, and he is 10 bucks, 10 for 10. He's a big one. He'll um, take a little bit longer box. So anyway, that's that. So there's two Siamese cats. Just a small little group of us tonight. I love it. It's a great Friday night. Did you guys have a good week? It was kind of a rough week at work for me. So glad it's over. Um, let's do a little bit different one. This is a mid-century. Um, it's just a wooden cat. See that? He was featured in one of my haul videos a while back. He leans kind of back. That's about flat. You see how he kind of leans his head back. Um, and he's in good shape. He's like, hi, Lisa. Um, you know, he, I mean, he's just wood. He's carved. And so he's imperfect. You know, I mean, he's been around for, a, you know, dozens of years. So he has like little spots where he's been banged up just a little bit. I mean, there's no dents or anything like that. No, like his ears aren't broken off or anything. But, you know, you can just see because it's raw wood. Well, it's not raw wood. It's like, you know, stained. But you can just see where he's been, you know, in a box and bumbled around or, you know, maybe fell on his ear there. See that? I mean, you know, I mean, he looks fine, but he's just old and imperfect. And this guy is going to be number eight. I didn't have numbers ready. <laughs> Could you guess? <laughs> number eight. This guy's number eight. And uh, he is um, 10 bucks for the wooden guy. And he's solid. He's, you know, he's a little bit heavy, but he should be able to ship pretty cheaply. Number eight, 10 bucks. There's that guy. And let's see. Let's. Sh I'll show you guys this one. This is my favorite one. I'm sort of jumping into the the best, the best or best ruse. Um, this is. Uh, I'll tell you the price first. This guy is actually twenty eight dollars. He's a. Um, he's. He's rare, um, and he's not in perfect shape. I'm going to tell you that now. Imperfect, but rare enough that he's worth quite a bit more than 28 bucks. This is a Royal Copley and he's the Royal Copley black cat, which is rare. It's hard to find. And um, he has the kind of piercing, striking green eyes, the pretty pink bow. And there he is, Royal Copley. All the lights in here kind of make it look like he's like got spots all over him. He doesn't, he's in good shape mostly. You can see right there on his bow, there's just, I can't even quite tell what it is. It almost seems like somebody got some silver paint on him because it doesn't really look white. It looks silver, but I've been sort of afraid to chip away at it too hard. If you want to, you're welcome to try and chip that away and see if it'll come off. It's not overly obvious, but it is there for sure. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bigger spot. You can see that. And then... Um, see what else. I mean, he just has, I mean, he has some crazing. For sure there's crazing. See the white? Maybe you can't see the white. Anyway, there's a little bit of crazing, which that to me is fine. That just makes him look old. You can see his stripes on the bottom. That's how you can usually tell that something is a Royal Copley. Almost all Royal Copley has those lines on the bottom. And um, around the planter hole, it looks again like the glazing chipped off and somebody like painted over it or colored over it in black. You don't notice it. I mean, you just really don't. When he's just sitting there, you don't notice it. But if you're looking, you would notice it. And if you are like a collector or something like that, and you're looking for like super perfect pieces, he's not that. But if you just want a nice little decorative piece and you love black cats, I'm not so sure that this guy looks like a Halloween type black cat, but anyway, he's a very cute black cat. 
And if you go on to eBay, and I, 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 it doesn't offend me, you guys, if you do that during the sale, um, go on and just peek and you'll see that these, there's, I think one or two on right now. Um, there have been others on in the past, obviously. They always sell in the 30s. So um, this guy's number seven. He's 28 bucks. There he is, Royal Copley. You put a little plant in there. You can put your dish rag in there. You can put a pair of socks in there. You can put anything in there that you want. Seven dollars, number 28. There you go. Oh, Debbie. Debbie takes the good one. Debbie, I like it. Hey, Debbie, down on the bottom of the screen, skunkyjunkshawn at gmail.com. Please send me your, um, your name and also send me your YouTube name exactly as it appears on the screen here so that I know uh, how to match this up with you. And um, send me your YouTube uh, email address as well as your home address so that I can mail it to you. And I'll send you an invoice out of PayPal. Excuse me. It's your PayPal email address that I need. Your PayPal email address, your home mailing address, your YouTube name, and your real name. That'll do it. Yeah. And then I can get this little guy out to you. I love this guy. So congratulations on that one. That's a beaut. I have a couple of little, let's, let's look at this. This is just a little cat birthday card. You know somebody who's a nice girl who's about to have a birthday and uh, likes vintage stuff? This is not perfect, you guys, by any means. This has been around since the 40s or 50s, and it is, I mean, look at it. It's got some scuffing and some smudge and smudge and whatever. Um, it was, here's the good news, signed in pencil. So if you want to erase Aunt Beth and Uncle Walt, feel free to do that. And then on the back, you can just see it's been like, you know, it's been around the, the block a couple times. But anyway, this cute little card here uh, is only $3 and it is number six. If you want a cute little vintage card, I love these kind of things. I almost always give vintage cards now because they're just so fun. And, you know, if people know that you're sort of a vintage person, then it's fitting, right? It, it will work. So anyway, this is number six. It's three dollars, and it's adorable, adorable, cute little kitties in a basket. I love that. Look at his little sailor hat. Oh, it's backwards. <laughs> it's a little sailor hat on this side. Little cute hat on that side. I wish I knew what hats were called. We need Katie here. She could tell us what the, these, what kind of hats these are. But anyway, it's super cute. So that's that. And then um, let's do this one. This guy is going to be to consult my, okay, this one's $6, $6, and he's this little guy. He's another uh, Lefton. This one's Lefton. It's a ceramic little um, uh, Siamese cat, and this is the weirdest thing on earth, you guys. I cannot figure out how he's supposed to go. Is he supposed to be like a shelf sitter? Like he almost works as a shelf sitter, but if my shelf was flat, like he'd be falling off of there. Like he doesn't really stay on the shelf. But if you put him on his back, like maybe that's what he's supposed to be. Like, like maybe you could put like a ball of yarn or something there. He's kind of cute that way, I guess. That makes some sense. But if you put him this way, like, that doesn't work. <laughs> that way does not work at all. Like, I, I just, I, I have never quite figured this guy out. I don't know how he goes. The, the most sense to me is, like, hanging off the edge of the shelf like that. But if you do that, you better hot glue him to the shelf because he's going to tumble right off. Anyway, he's little, and he is funky. It's got cute, cute little eyes. He just looks very sweet. And he has no chips or cracks. And I don't see any dings or paint loss on this guy. As I'm I was holding him up to the camera, it was looking like he has white on the edge of his ear. Oops, is that ear? But he doesn't. It's just the light. See that? So if I block the light, then you can see. 
no chips on his ears and he's left in and he is six dollars and he is number 20. number 20 and if you can figure out how this guy goes if you buy this guy please do me the favor of sending me a picture of how you display him because i i just can't figure it out anyway six dollars number 20. there he is he's cute name him he'll be your best friend forever I'm going to make sure I keep the right numbers with these things. Uh, oh, I'm going over time. I'm going to just show you two more items, and then you guys can all run off to sipping and flipping. Flipping and sipping. Aha, flipping and sipping. I know they've got uh, things starting up about 7 o'clock Pacific time tonight. Uh, these are just a couple of books. Uh, Alexander Kitten and my little golden book of cats now this is this back on the golden book so it's not the super old uh 1988 is the date on this one but it has no writing inside nobody scribbled their name in there the pages are you know intact there's no rips or tears or folds or anything like that it's in good shape this is a nice um you can see the spine on there is in good shape this is a, a good little golden book and then this is one of those Rand McNally. I just bought a bunch of these, um, the little junior elf books. And they're super cute. Again, it's in perfect shape, has no problems. And the pictures in it are just adorable. So these are not um, overly sought after books. And I'm not sure why, because they're so cute. But I think that gives you permission, if you want to, to cut it up and use it in your scrapbooking. Oh, look at, yikes. The goose got the cat. Anyway, if you do junk journaling and that kind of thing, I mean, the, the, the pictures in these are absolutely adorable. So it's in good shape. It's all intact. The spine is not coming loose. It's in great shape. And these two books together are $8. And number 30, $8. Number 30 for the two books, Little Bold Golden Book of Cats and the Alexander Kitten. I forgot to tell you the date on the Alexander Kitten, and I suspect that it is, these books are usually in, um, yeah, it is in Roman numerals. So I don't know. It's the year of MCMLIX. So that's the year of these books. So there you go. Oh, and Debbie wants to take those. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie. And looks like, Chad, you got your red, white, and stuff. Awesome. Good. Did everything arrive safely? Nothing was broken or crunched up or anything. I try so hard, you guys, to do good, uh, careful shipping. So I love to hear how things arrive so that I can make sure that I'm doing that right. Love that feedback. So awesome, Chad. I'm super glad you got that. Um, that was from my very first live sale, you guys. And uh, so I, I love that you got that stuff. Okay, I'm going to show you one more item. And actually, it's three items. These are going to be... Um, ooh, where did I have these? Ooh, yikes. Well, we're just going to say that they are $5 each. So they're five dollars each, and they are going to be A, B, and C. And we'll mark them carefully as to which one you want. So if you want, uh, so I'll show you all of them, and then A, B, and C. We'll give them the letters in just a second. Thank you, 1961. Thank you, Mary. See, you're better than I am at that stuff. See this guy? He's just super cute. I suspect he's Japan or something. He looks like this because it's kind of matte colored but he's actually smooth. He doesn't feel like bisque. Um, he's, you know, got the sort of tall with a big head. I love his cute little eyes, but what I love the most is his little blue bow tie. He's just so adorable. Love this little guy. So there's that guy. The second one, this guy has a little bit of paint loss and the paint loss is on the ladybug. Do you see that? The ladybug red is coming off. Red seems to always come off. Every time you find a Santa or anything like that, it always seems to have paint loss. I don't know why that is, but red must just not 
hold so well. But he's looking up to see the little bug on his head. He's smooth. He feels really soft and smooth. Uh, he has no chips or cracks. None of these do. And this guy is made in Japan. He's marked with the sticker. Um, just says made in Japan. It's not branded. I don't know what all those numbers are. Somebody wrote numbers all over the bottom. And I, it meant something to somebody, but it means nothing to me. And he's just like a pale, pale gray. You see that? Anyway, that's that guy. And then the third one is, it matches this one. These ones are matched. And um, or they're similar. I, they, they, they're made by the same, but they are not exactly identical. Like this one has much more texture to him. Can you see that? Kind of really can't. He has a lot more texture. He's like a longer haired cat, but he's the same kind of gray color, smooth, feels good to touch. And he's got the three little, whoop, I have such a hard time with this, the three little rhinestones on his collar. And he's got the pretty eyes, similar eyes to this guy. This guy has the ladybug with the lost paint. This guy has the rhinestone little collar. And again, the sticker saying made in Japan is just, it's starting to wear off on this one. But anyway, that's what that is. I don't know, maybe that says some dollar amount that somebody sold these for. I have no idea. Anyway, so what these are going to be is A is going to be the tall guy, the big tall guy. These are each $5. $5 ABC, and we're going to go in order. This one's A, tall is A. B, this one's B, ladybug is B, ladybug B. And then C is the rhinestone guy. He's so cute. Don't you just want to hold him in your lap? He's like a little kitten and long hair. Makes you just really want to cuddle him. That's C. So A, B, and C. And I'm just going to make a note of which is which. All right. Oh, Debbie, you want them all. Debbie, you are a pal tonight. Debbie. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie. All right. Well, I will get all this stuff right out to you. And I, I do have one more. You guys, I understand if you want to jump over to Sipman and... Um, uh, Thrifton and why can't I think of their name for goodness sakes I don't know what's wrong with me anyway if you want to jump over there I get it but there's one more little tiny figurine guy and he's again very smooth he's made in Japan made in Japan but he's a very shiny smooth kitten Siamese adorable face see that he looks kind of mean on the screen, but he in real life he seems super like smiling and cute. Anyway, he's about yay big, yay big. He's little. Um, but see the the earlier ones that I showed you. Number one, this guy he is very smooth, but he's not shiny. This guy is different. He's that super shiny kind of glaze. See how he's different. So this guy. Oh, what did we have on this one? Um, six dollars. So this guy's six dollars, and he's going to be number one hundred. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure I don't accidentally repeat numbers since I wasn't prepared here. So <laughs> number one hundred, six bucks. It's this guy. He's so cute. Again, there's no chips or cracks. Um, with his tail sticking up like this, I mean, you have to look really close to make sure that it hadn't been glued back on. It has not. I see no chips on his ears. Um, he really is in, in great shape. Uh, he's kind of perfect and pretty cute. See his little tail? Sticking straight up and not broken off. So that's a miracle, right? After all those years. So $106. And yeah, seriously, Debbie is not fooling around tonight. She came to buy and she is buying. I hope you're not drinking yet, Debbie, because I don't want you to be buying drunk and then regret it in the morning. <laughs> There's this guy too. Let's do this guy. This is a redware. It's again, Japan and it's stamped Japan on the bottom. See that stamp and it's the red kind of clay. And it's it's that sort of brown color that they call redware. And once again, 
the red cold paint on this ear here is starting to come off. See that? His eyes look good. His little tongue. Uh, he has little whiskers that are kind of faint. They're there, but they're faint just because they guess they don't really show up so much against the dark color of his head. But there is a little bit of loss of color on the red ear for sure. And this guy's um, and he's kind of an in-between size. So I would say he's about five and a half inches tall. And he just likes to sit there and look at you and be happy. He's cute, right? There he goes. See that? I still struggle, you guys, with this camera. Everything's backwards. And so you can tell that I'm struggling. But anyway, there he is. So this guy is the Red Wear Cat. And he is $8. $8, and he is number 34. Look at all these random numbers. <laughs> 34, $8, and that's that guy. So you guys, I appreciate you hanging with me for a few minutes tonight. Just a great way to end the week, just with this quick pop-up uh, sale, and I appreciate you guys jumping in with me so much. Really, really love that. Debbie, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for buying a few things tonight. And anything that's left, you guys, um, if you saw something that was of interest, don't hesitate to um, to reach out to me by email. So my email is, again, skunkyjunkshawn at gmail.com. And it's Sean, S-E-A-N, no spaces or anything. Just squish those three words together, skunkyjunk, S-E-A-N, at gmail.com. And um, again, if you're watching this back later, thanks for doing that, too. Subscribe to my channel if you would, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great weekend. Love you all. And now my mouse is not working. Ah, <laughs> goodbye. Have a good weekend. <laughs>